7. Write down strange type of sum. Strange type of sum. Strange type of sum. Write down. Consider a DDB full form. Deep discount bond. I had mentioned this is one of the names for zero coupon bond. Consider a deep discount bond. Deep discount. A deep discount bond means ZCB. Deep discount bond issued by ONGC. Issued by ONGC. And this bond is eligible for tax rebate at 15% under section 88 of the Income Tax Act. So number one, I am not a tax person. Number two, it doesn't matter because when you are practicing in real life, suppose five years, ten years down the road, at that time the government under consideration may have a tax rebate under section 88 for investments in certain types of bonds. So SFM is always taught in an open environment where any regulations could be there. Perhaps you are not working in India, you are working in some other country and there the tax rebate is there. So would you say, no, no, I have not studied that. So it's okay, we are studying in an economy and environment where if you invest in the ONGC bond, you will get a tax rebate of 15%. You understand rebate? It means whatever you invest in the bond, 15% of that shall be a tax rebate, income tax savings. So your initial outflow will be the price of the bond minus 15%. So that should be your pickup. Okay, my outflow will be the price minus the 15%. Okay? Para change. Face value. 1 lakh. N. 25 years. Price. So price is suppose 14,200 for indexation comma take inflation at 2% per annum. Capital gain tax rate 10% bracket long term. Capital gain tax rate 10% long term. Calculate post tax YTM. Calculate post tax YTM. So, the way I would have looked at the sum is that I have done ZCB. In ZCB, if this entire tax problem would not have been there, the solution would have been. 14,200 is equal to 1 lakh divided by 1 plus r power 25. 14,200 equal to 1 lakh by 1 plus r power 25. That would have been the solution. So now I understood one thing. 
that instead of 14,200, I need to put some other figure. Instead of 1 lakh, I need to put some other figure. That's it. At least my tone is set. Something is equal to something by 1 plus R power 25. So instead of 14,200, what will the figure be? Yes, that's very easy. I'm waiting for you. What, is, what are you cuffing out today from, from your pocket? 12,000? 70. So he has done 14,200 into 85%. 14,200 into 85%. What are you saying? 12,000? 78. 70. 70. Are you okay with it? Or I need to explain? Do I need to explain this part? The initial investment is the amount invested in the bond minus the rebate. And if somebody now says that, no sir, the rebate shall be availed after one year. Let's not go into all that. Then there will be a scrutiny and all that. We can't go into that. So 14,000. 200 less 15%, 12,070, one thing is clear. Now what are we going to get after 25 years? Sir, we are going to get 1 lakh minus capital gain tax. 1 lakh minus capital gain tax. So you need to find out the capital gain tax. That is 10% of capital gain. So you need to find out the capital gain. What is the formula for long term capital gain? Net sales proceeds minus index cost of acquisition. Net sales proceeds minus index cost of acquisition. Sale proceeds is 1 lakh. So you need to find out index cost of acquisition. So you have learned index cost of acquisition is equal to cost of acquisition into index in the period of transfer divided by index in the period of acquisition. Now what you have learned, that means that's the past based on inflation that has taken place. They are saying in future, inflation will be 2%. So basically 14,200 needs to be compounded at 2% for 25 years. That will be the indexed cost of acquisition because the inflation index is going to rise at the rate of 2% per annum. Okay, so 1.02 power 25. Kelsey, Kelsey, please. 1.02 power 25. Kelsey, please. 1.02 into 1.02 equal to equal to equal to this way. I am saying power 25. 1.02 power 25. You got something? That into 14,200 on the Calci, 1.02 power 25 into 14,200, yes please. 23,000? Around 297, because we are discussing verbally. So 23,297, okay. So sir, the indexed cost of acquisition is 23,297. Therefore the IT authorities should charge LTCG on 1 lakh minus 23,297. 1 lakh minus 23,297, whatever that amount, that into 15%, sorry, that into 10%, that into 10%. 7? 7670 is the long term capital gain tax. So 1 lakh minus 7670. 1 lakh minus 7670. 92,330. That's the amount we are going to get at the end. 92,330. Okay? And now if you ask me, have I done this sum in the batch which was there? No, I have not done the sum. I have not done the sum over there. Because there they just keep on disturbing me. So whatever new thing comes into my mind, I constrain that. Being afraid that God knows, if I touch this, they will take one hour to pick up the entire sum. Leave it. They are going to suffer. Okay? And have I created this sum out of my mind now? No. I have seen this sum in reference textbooks. I have seen this sum in reference textbooks. But has it come? No. There is a very, very outside chance of it coming. But the point is not it coming. It opening of the mind. You got the stuff of tax rebate. You got the sub stuff of index cost of acquisition. And you noted one thing. I did not apply 2% inflation on 12,070. I applied it on 14,000 what? 14,200 because you can't get a benefit on the rebate amount. Okay, they will apply it on the price, but your investment was 12,070, that's a different thing. Okay, so there are many, many small things in this sum. They're just there to open your mind. Okay, so let's do the solution. Initial outflow equal to price minus rebate. So 
so 14,200 minus 15% 15 of 14,200. 14,200 minus 15% 15 of 14,200. Yes, please. 12,070. 12,070. Initial outflow. Initial outflow 12,070. Redemption amount equal to 1 lakh minus LTCG tax. 1 lakh minus LTCG tax, long term capital gain tax. Next heading LTCG tax. Sale proceeds. 1 lakh indexed cost of acquisition is 14200 into 1.02 power 25 14200 into 1.02 power 25 how much yes 23 297. I hope it's correct because this sum is going to be offloaded on YouTube. I will definitely share the sum with them, whatever I'm doing extra. I do it with you also. Next batch which I teach, if I'm doing something extra with them, you'll get the sharing of that. Okay, you should because everybody should be on a level playing field. So I hope they will not laugh on you, the calculation. 23297 is correct, let's hope. Okay. So 1 lakh minus 23297 is 72. Sorry, 76. 76703. 76703. 76703. LTCG tax at the rate of 10%. 7670. Therefore, redemption amount. Okay. Please never deduct the tax from the capital gain. We are not sitting over here to calculate the post tax capital gain. We are sitting over here to calculate the net amount we received after paying tax. So, 1 lakh minus tax. 1 lakh minus 7670. 32,330. 92,330 92,330 92,330 92,330 92,330 Next line Outflow equal to inflow So 12,070 equal to 92,000 330 divided by 1 plus R to the power 25. Are you okay with it? 12070 is 92 330 by 1 plus R power 25. So R is equal to 92 330 divided by 1 to 0, 7, 0, whole to the power 1 by 25 minus 1. 92 330 by 12070 hold to the power 1 by 25 minus 1. Okay, 92 330 by 12070 hold to the power 1 by 25 minus 1. It's dirty power 92 330 by 12070. So square root 12 times. Then minus 1. Then divide by 25. Then plus 1. Then into equal to into equal to into equal to into equal to 12 times. Whatever you get, minus 1, the whole into 100. Answer please. 8.48%. 
ओके इन एक्चुअलिटी आईडीबीआई बैंक हैड इश्यूड सच अ बॉन्ड ग्रोइंग कूपन बॉन्ड विथ अ रिबेट ओके वे बैक इट इज इश्यूड दिस बॉन्ड एट पॉइंट फोर एट परसेंट सो इफ यू बिलीव ओ एन जी सी हैज द क्रेडिट वर्दिनेस सच दैट यू आर कंटेंट विथ एट पॉइंट फोर एट परसेंट रिटर्न आफ्टर टैक्स आई थिंक इट्स अ क्वाइट डिसेंट रिटर्न बिकॉज ओ एन जी सी हैज अ क्वाजी गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट इट इज वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेंज दैट इन आर कंट्री अ कंपनी लाइक ओ एन जी सी वेल गो बैंक क्राफ्ट एंड डिफॉल्ट सो वन कैन टेक इट टू बी अ सेफ बॉन्ड यू आर गेटिंग आफ्टर टैक्स रिटर्न ऑफ एट पॉइंट फोर एट परसेंट इवन द बेस्ट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड हैव नॉट गिवन सच रिटर्न ओके वन शुड गो फॉर इट दैट्स हाउ डिसीजन आर टेकन फॉर क्लाइंट इफ यू आर द फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर एंड यू एलोकेट सम मनी ऑफ द क्लाइंट इन टू बॉन्ड्स ओके इन टू फिक्सड इनकम यू हैव टू डिसाइड ना हाउ मच इन टू म्यूचुअल फंड हाउ मच इन टू ट्रिपल ए बॉन्ड हाउ मच इन टू डबल ए बॉन्ड हाउ मच इन टू सिंगल ए बॉन्ड एंड सो ऑन बिकॉज इट से इज रिस्क नेवर डिसअपियर्स इट जस्ट फाइंड्स इट्स प्लेस समवेयर एल्स when all the talk of npas was going on okay banks settled with npas because after 2008 financial crisis okay banks went in for a huge huge amount of lending to corporates and all that lending was corruption oriented okay so all the psu banks and the private sector banks were settled with npas now that we are seeing it being unearthed so in that case the bank lending has dried up still debt funding is there and who became the source of debt funding mutual funds debt oriented mutual funds are the ones who are providing funds to companies and therefore mutual funds they have also borne the uh, the uh, default side pocketing of mutual funds you must have heard all these mutual funds have suffered a lot because they have been massive defaults and now even retail investors are afraid should they put their money into debt mutual funds or not equity mutual funds are risky but debt mutual funds they are considered to be even more risky in our days okay you cannot touch anything except quality only quality quality bonds triple a bonds they are the ones that can be savior okay so 8.48 percent is a very good return in this environment post tax correct so this was a strange sum you cannot have the opinion sir why don't we solve three four more sums of this type we can't so both the point number 6 and point number 7 are extremely unlikely to come in the exam okay 6 and 7 both points